Okay guys, today in this simulation tutorial, we will make a circuit which will verify the Ohm's law statement. Simply we can say that now we are going to go for the Ohm's law verification within our circuit simulator. So we need for our battery and we will just check it out. Okay, now we have taken our voltage source that is our battery. Before going to make the circuit, you must know that the Ohm's law states that that the current through any circuit must be directly proportional to the applied voltage on a fixed resistance. Our resistance must be kept as constant. That without changing resistance, there is more current for more voltage. So either our circuit verifies that or not let's take a look on it now we will take our load that is actually the light bulb okay after taking the load we need to take two meters for for measuring current and voltage and also one potentiometer for to vary the voltage. Potentiometer is nothing but a variable resistor. It is a resistor through which you can vary the resistance with the help of its knob. It is a rot uh, rotary type component which is having one knob which can rotate and then you can change its resistance. Okay, now we will do one thing. We will connect our potentiometer one wire with the positive end of the battery and the terminal one of the load with the wiper pin that is the middle pin of the potentiometer. Okay. And we, we can do one thing that we can we can place our meter there we can connect the positive terminal of the meter with the bulbs terminal one Okay, so this is our terminal 1 and a negative terminal with the negative terminal of the battery. Okay, just arrange these wires. Okay, now after that, we will do one thing that we will. connect our ampere meter with that of the load or within the like you can say that in in series with the load a voltage a voltmeter must be in parallel with the load like here you can see positive with one one terminal and the negative with other terminal but if if, if it is ampere meter like we, we, we have to change it to amperage as well and it's negative and must be with the negative end of the battery so this is our circuit arrangement and now we will start our simulation here we can see that our our voltages are okay now we, we have 
adjusted the knob at the maximum position so here it is 1.73 millivolt across the bulb so we can see that just 36.0 micro ampere current is flowing and load is obviously not giving any sort of light now we are moving the knob and now you can see that voltages are bit rising and as the voltage is rising the current also rises okay because we are making the resistance down and down so we are getting more voltages okay and now the current is 180 ampere okay so now you can see that our bulb is also some bit light up so here we we okay yeah this okay now when our okay while while moving it like that okay one thing more that we can adjust our the resistance of our potentiometer it must be like uh, 2500 ohm okay 2.5 k just so okay with this we can see that okay so it is uh, 169 millivolt and then 184 and like voltage is increasing so current is also increasing and here okay so so this you can see that voltage is now here at 2.88 and 90 milliampere and all this so 180 milliampere so here you can see that when you use to reduce the resistance of this potentiometer which means that more voltage is flowing towards the load or the bulb and as soon as the voltage used to rise the current also rises more on the on this like uh, one on this multi meter or ampere meter so hopefully you got the concept regarding the ohms law circuit so thanks for visiting our channel